Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the grind. We were just at the Freeport Jetty yesterday evening. Didn't get to bed till about one in the morning. Had to edit a video to for y'all to watch this morning, <clears throat> and woke up at three to get here. Beautiful Lake Conroe. We are gonna try our hand at some topwater bass first thing in the morning. Hopefully, we catch maybe four or five and then we can get out of here early before that sun starts to do its thing because there's going to be no winds today perfect conditions let's get on the water yeah this kayak is seriously fast cruising speed is just amazing check it out we are on the predator pdl uh, I have come to like this thing when you're fishing structure like this. Check this out. The reason why is because, here, let's orient the fish finder right here to where we can see it just like that. And then, as we're standing up, all I got to do is reach down and do that right there. Amazing. And we're moving. You can't do that with a Mirage Drive. Ooh, I should have... I should have set my attention. We were set up for the salt. This PDL drive is money. Like with being able to troll it like a trolling motor, it'd be cool if you could like turn it from here rather than grab the rudder. If it had a rudder control on the drive itself, that would be money. Boy, that's trouble if we hook into a, a nice fatty. Get a beefcake from inside there. It's a muscle amount. Hopefully this 20 pound holds up. Most people will use like 60 pound braid straight, nothing, no leader or anything like that. Bass fishermen are crazy. Like those guys, they're like, nah, bro. I use a 2000 pound cable just like for my winch. He ain't getting away. I break trees and I bring them in. It's like the only obstructions we've got to worry about pretty much is just oyster and grass that builds up on your line because a redfish digs deep inside it that's it but you have to be on a grass flat in order to experience the whole grass thing man this this kayak was designed with freshwater fishermen in mind like it is too easy to fish this kayak figured i would have already caught a fish by now i know if i was throwing a fluke for sure i would have already caught one Stupid frog. Okay, reverse and release. Oh, that is why the instant reverse is awesome for fishing lakes, structure, everything like that, because I got to get away before actually bumping into all that stuff. It was a great big old huge spider on it, about one eighth of an inch. And it was kind of scary. A lot of y'all asked how the side scan works on this kayak. If that transducer is like recessed up into the hole too much to where it's not going to shoot the sonar off to the side. Uh, well, this should be able to answer your question. It is amazing. This Humminbird Helix 7, it's the Gen 3 side scan and I believe it has down scan as well. Uh, absolutely amazing clarity I can see the trees and everything right now I'm not even moving so let's move a little bit and let's get this guy going so that y'all can see what it is that I'm looking at right there tree all of this stuff nice oh <laughs> let's go top oh all right Let's just pretend that that didn't happen and we'll just keep fishing. Ah, gotcha, sucker. Ah, yes. About time. You did not spit the hook on me, bruh. It took a little while. Actually, it took a long while. But we finally got the first ditch pickle in the boat. It's not really much of a ditch pickle. This guy's uh, he's uh, respectable. Good night. 
There we go. Man, oh man, it took a little while. But check that out. Nice healthy chunk right there, baby. Mr. Bass. We better get a picture because ain't nobody gonna believe us that we caught anything. There we are, everybody. We're gonna release this fella. Thank you so much for playing, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I didn't feel no bite or anything. I just saw my line going from one direction to the other. Set the hook, and there we go. Fish on. Uh-oh. We got him. Yeah. Yeah. Right here at the dock. Shaky head, and I just had a feeling that's what I needed to do was switch up for this style of fishing right here. Deep water, eight foot, seven foot. And look at that. Shaky head to the rescue, baby. All right, there we go. Look at that sweet, healthy bass. Nothing but chunks out here. Beautiful largemouth right there, everyone. Ah, thank you, Lake Conroe. Oh, I had like five bites previous to this right here out in the middle of the lake where it's about three, four foot deep and a bunch of stumps. And not one of those fish could I hook. Wow. This wasn't much of a day for catching. It was miss after miss after miss. I, I mean, it must have been about seven bites and very few like brief hookups and then a couple of bass spitting the hook. It just wasn't in the cards for today, but I tell y'all what, uh, I did learn something about this kayak, so what better time than now to give y'all my thoughts, my first impression on freshwater lake use. This kayak is the real deal. It is legit. It's an elite kayak in the making. I'm telling y'all what, for my liking, all it needs is dual rudder controls, and that is it. it as far as I'm concerned, it has beat out the Hobie Outback. It's faster than the Outback. It costs less than the Outback. It has some of the same capacity, like I think it's the same carry capacity or maybe 50 pounds more than the Hobie Outback. Now, you're hearing this from a Hobie fanboy. That's all I've ever fished from for the past 11 years now. And I absolutely love my 2019 Outback. And the only reason why I am sticking with it is because of the dual rudder controls. Uh, I will put this guy through its paces and I do believe that it was designed for the uh, the freshwater bass angler in mind because it it just shines out here fishing around structure instant reverse uh, being able to use the PDL drive not having to lift it up and push pull through a lake is like just it's bliss because this thing the PDL drive can take a beating. I hit stump after stump after stump. Some of them going at about two miles an hour and it jolted me, but the PDL drive took it in stride. It rolls with the punches. And I'm telling y'all what, it is super stable. It has plenty of storage space. Take a look at the link that I have in the description down below. You can read more about it. While the Hobie Outback's price keeps increasing, Old Town is lowering the price of their kayak, their flagship. This Predator PDL is a kayak that Hobie needs to watch out for because if they don't, a few changes that Old Town makes to their mold, that dual rudder control, and maybe figure out a way to incorporate a, uh, a rudder that just pops up whenever you hit an obstacle and then it retracts back down on its own. You don't have to reach to the side and do anything like that. Then they are doing something that uh, no other company has been able to do thus far. And one other thing that I would love to see, that's just for the anglers that have to travel, uh, pedal, paddle, whatever it may be, 
a far distance, let's say five plus miles to get to your fishing spot, somebody please put a transom mount on one of these plastic boats that has the ability still to use the pedal drive and you have the ultimate kayak in my opinion. Okay, so I have been long-winded. I hope you found this video useful and uh, just mark my words, Old Town is headed in the right direction. Do they beat out the 2019 Outback? And you know, for my liking, no, not quite yet. Put the dual rudder control and then you've got my vote. But uh, as it stands, this kayak is definitely worth taking a look at whenever you get to go to a demo day. If a friend has one, ask him to borrow it. You're not going to be disappointed. It is super fast. Trust me. All right. If you enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. I will be bringing you more and more videos as I go out on the water testing this kayak in every situation. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, tight lines everyone.